Okay, there are two rusted screws over here and here. I have to get them out. Um, but before I do that, I have to take this, these two springs out of there. But um, before I can do that, I need to... Um, so these are the three screws that's useless. Um, I changed to new screws. But anyway, so I got these circlips. I have to remove them before I can... Uh, before I can uh, take this handle out of here. Okay, so that's what I'm doing here. So there's the stir clip. See if I can push this out. Oh, I can't because both stir clips out but I don't know where they fly to so we're gonna try to find them later but uh, let me uh, punch this through you can see it's uh, coming out you can see that it's coming out over here so I'm just gonna keep going bad about all this is I don't know where the two clips went. There we go. So we need this to go back in like that. And this to go back in like that. Oh good, the circle is uh, in there. At least one is here. It didn't fly away. I need to be more careful next time. So this one sir clip is here. I just need to go find the other one which I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. So that clips in there. That's how this is supposed to work. Anyway, so see that screw is almost coming out too. You know, and that screw already fell. So. Before I do that, I may as well just read the handle because the handle is totally refreshing. Put in two new screw there. Hopefully, um, so that one is in. Can I find one more screw? Put it in there. Like 
it's uh, working because look. That's turning counterclockwise. Counterclockwise. I switched the two uh, positive to negative. Now it's clockwise. See that? So now it's working. So um, I'm going to put everything together and call it a DIY success. Um, I'm going to turn this around. Um, and, uh, put these spring and the circuit, uh, circuit clip back and everything back. And, uh, how this thing is going to... Go through. There we go. There we go. Keep going. There we go. In position and sir clip is going to be going in. One over here. Where's my circle? Going in should be hopefully easier. Okay, yep, going in is easier. So that one is in. The other sir clip I have to put in his uh, back. Shortly. So I put this together but the motor will not turn. So I'm gonna go and check to see the power is going into the board. There are only two screws you need to do on this wireless trolling motor. It's this guy here. And then I'm gonna turn this around. And it's the other side. And it's this one here. So just those two screws because that screw is going in, into there. And this, and this screw is, uh, I just unscrewed this. So once you remove this screw here and this screw here, you can open from the front and then slide this thing off. this knot otherwise this is not going to come off okay put it on this you can see that screw is backing out okay and the controller you remove this and I can just uh, pop this up. Pull the wire up. And pop this up. You want to be careful because there's a cable ribbon here that's connected as so you don't want to so you want to be careful see that ribbon there that's the ribbon I'm talking about and I'm going to pop this power wire and try 
going to lower this to the ground. cover up here. All right, so the um, inside chip So I cannot use my remote control to turn this motor, that's why I'm doing this now. You can see it turned to the right just now with my uh, connecting this wire directory and if I switch the positive with negative then you can see this will, this will turn to the other direction so I'm gonna have to buy the computer there you go so now because the computer chip broke uh, I don't know maybe the receiver is broken you know, but uh, one of the two is broken. Power hat is, the lower unit is working. It's just a, uh, it's just the computer chip is broken. So, pretty bad, pretty bump out.